I'm Larry Taylor. I'm a professor in the Department of Earth and Planetary Science here at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. I work on planetary rocks, rocks from outside of Earth. I also work, work on rocks from down deep in the Earth, uh, any rock that's hard to come by. We're studying diamonds here in a particular rock called Pritatite that was brought from almost 100 miles down deep in the Earth, and it reveals to us some of the origins of diamonds that we've been trying to figure out. Here we're looking at a uh, three-dimensional recreation of this rock. We do what we call CAT scans, a kind of computer-assisted tomography that you do on your brain in the hospital. And then we take all these different slices and put them together and we make a three-dimensional model. Here we have a three-dimensional model which shows only diamond, the blue, and the sulfide minerals, which are yellow. Everything else is uh, made invisible. This rock is highly significant in the fact that it contains almost 30,000 diamonds, or even more than 30,000 diamonds. Unfortunately, they're all very tiny, so they don't really have a, a gem quality value. But the real question becomes one of how did this form? We thought we knew how diamonds form, but here we have 30,000 diamonds, which are all about the same size, standing right next to each other. They didn't coalesce, they didn't form larger diamonds. The real mystery is the kinetics of this formation. Why didn't they uh, form into larger diamonds?